friends in this video we will uh, learn about uh, what settings we have to make when we first install the AutoCAD when you first install the AutoCAD you will see the screen as uh, uh, here now here first thing that you have to do is we should make the uh, uh, mode into AutoCAD classic so you see here there is one uh, uh, settings uh, menu in the workspace so the workspace we should change to AutoCAD classic so when we change this so some changes appear on your screen so now after that we what we have to do is we right click on the grid display here and uh, a menu appears in this menu you press the settings and uh, in this settings we press the snap on we change the snap size to 0.25 we change the grid size also to 0.25 and uh, we should uh, switch on the 2d model space by and we should switch off the adaptive grid we should switch off the display grid beyond limit now in this particular window whatever steps we have to uh, we have uh, discussed these steps are to be done even if the uh, AutoCAD is already installed on your computer and uh, you open it uh, several times so these kind of settings you will have to repeatedly do if you want to avoid this you can make a standard file with this but rest of the settings which I will be discussing further uh, and also the one which I discussed in the beginning which is to change the workspace to AutoCAD classic these settings will remain same uh, these settings will be retained while the settings on the window which is appearing on your screen so these settings will have to be repeated every time you open a new file okay once I finish this I'll press OK now I'll change the next thing that you have to do is uh, uh, again go to the settings here we have to see that object snap so everything is unchecked what we do we clear all so all the things are unchecked 3d object snap also we should clear all it is already clear all in the dynamic input we should uncheck the enabler enable pointer input we should uncheck the enable dimension input where possible and in this further you click on the options button and the window a new window appears on your screen here in this window you go to the display tab in the display tab you change the crosshair size to 100% like this the next is you go to the user preferences tab in the user preferences tab you activate the keyboard entry rather than the running object snap so keyboard entry you will activate and then you will press uh, you will press the apply button and press ok ok so this way the screen appears now you can also change the limits from 0 0 to 27 comma 10 and press enter now zoom off you can see here all the settings are there so now the AutoCAD is ready for working now if suppose I want to avoid repeating these steps I can save this file as a, a standard file so I'll note down where I'm saving I'm saving it in my documents so so standard one std I'll save save it now I close it 
now I close it then suppose now I want to open so in the documents in the my documents I'll see where that standard file is std I'll double click on that So here it opens with the same settings I don't need to repeat the settings I can always work on it and uh, then I can save the files using the save as button so I can save this as uh, my assignment one and uh, I can put my ID number here let us say 455 and uh, then I can save further so before I start working I should uh, rename the standard file when I open the standard file I should rename it with the assignment of uh, the day and uh, then I can save it and I'll start working on it this way the AutoCAD has to be started thank you